the guys. We had them Donny points on the south coast. Uh, we're trying our luck at trying to get some bigger, bigger sharks like the big grey sharks that have been frequenting our waters at the moment with the recent sardine run. I'm here with my old man Jeremy Bain. Yeah, it's kind of being a gilly at the moment catching all the shad. So <laughs> it's all the time. It's not at the moment. All the time. Yeah, hundred <laughs> um, percent. And yeah, so we're gonna put out some live shad. See if we can't try get a bite with one with a live shad or or something like that. We're gonna put out a dead shad now and see if we can get a bite on that. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. We're using the the Dawa Dog Fight Lever Drag 60, paired with the Salters um, 8 to 12 on. Sorry. Um, yeah, awesome setup, the right setup for these big fish. Uh, the other day we managed to land a big grey of 200, 268, yeah, 268 yeah, okay. centimetres, pre quarter length, which was on this setup here as well, which was great, absolutely awesome. But yeah, guys, let's see what we can do. Drone fishing in South Africa is fast taking off. Even though with a lot of silly comments happening all over the social media network, this is definitely a facet of fishing that will keep on growing and growing and growing. A lot of our coastal areas don't allow for us to cast over the back bank, and this is where a drone plays an ideal role. Alright guys, so we're busy baiting up, we want to try to get a bait out there. Um, there's a lot of sardine activity, so we should get a pull, it's looking promising. Um, what I've done here, I've just taken a shad, first shad, caught like not even 20 minutes ago and cut the tail off so we got a bit of blood going out there and that should bring in some, some attraction. Um, and then I've got that onto a 12 hour Mustad Demon Circle. Um, and then I'm fishing that onto 175 pound carbon coated steel. That's probably about almost 2 meters in length. And then that I fish onto 1.2 mil litre onto um, 65 pound J braid which I've got set up on my Saltiga Lever Drag 60, another dog fart. I've got the 65 pound J-Bray, the multicolored. No difference in the multicolor, I just thought the, the different colors look pretty cool. So, <laughs> And then underneath that I got 80 pound Gator Braid. And then with that I'm fishing my Saltist um, 8 to 12 ounce rod. Uh, really the perfect rod and perfect setup for my majority of these fish. I mean, if you get stripped on this, I don't know. I don't think it's meant to be landed, to be honest. So yeah. Let's give it a bash and let's see. Hopefully it won't be too long. Drone fishing allows you to fish with much heavier tackle. And in other words, it's a lot more fish friendly. Over the sardine run, we saw a lot less fish lost by the drone anglers than by the surf casting anglers. Now you guys will note that the bait hangs quite far below the drone. This is to make the flight a lot more stable. A minimum of 4 meter length is recommended. When using the Phantom 4 drone, a South African developer designed and patented the Gannet dropping system. Now in a lot of instances the guys think this is quite simple. In some cases they use coat hangers to do the same job. The steel of a coat hanger interferes with the Navihonix system on a drone and has caused several drones to fall in the water. Therefore rather trust a proven system. Alright guys it looks like we got a bit of a bite here. It doesn't feel very big. I put our shad head about 300 meters out on the drone in the hopes of finding like a big grey or something. But yeah, this isn't feeling quite like a big grey or anything like that. But it feels like a bit of a smaller fish. So let's see if we can get him out. I'm gonna try to focus around the rocks here. And yeah, hopefully we'll check you guys just now with a bit of a fish on the, <laughs> on the end here. I don't think it's very big though. It doesn't feel big at all.
On a quiet day like this, a diamond is quite welcome. Any fish for that matter. And that's the advantage you have being able to drop your bait so far. A very wise man once said to me that the most enjoyable part of fishing is really being able to get a fish onto the hook, fight it and land it safely. And then of course the releasing of it. Right guys, as I'm sure you saw there, I got that small diamond skate. Not quite the, the species we wanted. Um, I was actually kind of hoping it was somehow an edible of some sort, but unfortunately it wasn't. We used a shad head. I rigged it up in my 12 Mustad Demon Circle um, in the hopes of a big grey or something along those lines, blackfin, any other big sharks that have been frequenting the sardines. Um, but yeah, it was a short fight. Probably about 5 minutes, 10 minutes or so. Uh, he boxed me a bit in the front, but that was it. Got him out, quick release, and yeah. Let's see, gonna put out another bait now and see if we can try to find one of those bigger fish. We'll see what happens. On, on the back of the bigger wave we're going to be put back into the water there right guys so the bait i was using i was using a large shad i put a large shad out in a 12 by mustard demon circle um and it took a while to actually get a bite uh again hoping for slightly bigger fish not the desired target but you know what a bite is a bite they're still incredible looking features um and yeah that's pretty much all i could say super tough to actually at least getting a bite today Right guys, so you, as you can see here, I'm using just a pretty normal FMJ tr chase, the same as what you'd use if you're going to throw a bait. Um, I've tied that with one, 175 pound carbon coated steel. Um, I've just put a sliding swivel on there in between two beads like that, and then I've tied a figure eight knot to stop the, the sinker from sliding down. Um, it's just easier, cheaper, it's quick and easy to do. And now the chase about two meters, I'll probably place the sinker about just, just under a meter away from the hook. And if I were to cast, I'd lengthen that sinker so that I could clip it onto my, my hook. But because we're dropping with a drone, I'll just make it nice and short like that. It also reduces tangles and, and all of that. And then I'm using that onto a 12 Mustad Demon Circle. I've just done a snell knot there. Um, this is my favorite hook for, for most of my fishing, most of my big shark fishing in general, um, trans sky points and things like that. And then onto that, I've got 1.2 mil leader, um, quite long. And what I've actually done is, you'll see here, I've got probably about three meters before I've actually tied a loop with um, insulation tape. Now that loop is so that I can clip this onto the, the drone when we're flying it out. And that'll just make it so that it's easy to drop and, and it's very easy to do and quick and easy to do rather than tying new lines and everything onto that. And I'm fishing a long leader, probably about 15 to 20 meters long. 
Um, that's because my reel is full with braid, as you can see there, with 65 pound J braid all the way to the top there. Um, so I'm fishing a long leader just in, for when the fish gets close next to the rocks. I've got, a, I've got that 20 meters or so um, for abrasion resistance. Um, but yeah, let's see. I'm busy waiting for a live bait now, so if we can try to get a live shad, maybe that's what we need to try and get it bite now. Uh, really? Yeah. We actually just gave me a side cut of these fish. This method has been used for years off ski boats and very effective for the marlin as well. Instead of cable ties, they used to use braid. It also leaves your hook very proud, which is essential with a circle hook. Bites is a bite on a day like today. Actually, you're putting up a bit of a, a tussle up. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> we're fighting a little bit better this one. A nice blackfin was welcome, and not a bad day's fishing considering the conditions. So it's late on in the day now. Um, we had quite a bit of action this morning. We were actually quite fortunate to get the two bites we did. We got a hammer, a diamond skate, and a small blackfin. So, I mean, that was pretty good for the morning. Really chuffed for that. Three bites, so all good. Um, but as you guys can see, there's been a lot of activity out here. I mean, they don't look like sods, and from what I've heard, is apparently they are mackerel on the surface, um, which would explain why they're not getting hit by any bait fish or anything like that. Um, but yeah, so I've just put out a, a live shad now on this rod over here uh, to see if we can tie some bite with that, put that bait out about 300 meters of the drone. I feel like that'll maybe be the difference in getting behind the bait fish to where there's actually less action around my bait. Um, and then my dad's line, he actually decided to also put a bait on the drone. He put out a shad head though. Um, and he flew that out about 200, 250 meters, just over casting distance to see maybe we can get a bite in the bait hole. Um, and then also because of the, the, the blood and the stuff of using a head. So you've got a lot of blood in, those, in the water. It might attract that, that other bite. Um, so yeah, we're trying two different, two different methods here. Um, I guess we'll see what happens. Hopefully something has to happen soon. Um, we actually, we flew the drone out while we were fitting baits out. And we checked literally not even 150, 200 meters away. We checked a tuna on the footage. Um, that must have been about 25, 30 kilos easily. So yeah, that was pretty insane. And kind of get, get your, your blood pumping and your adrenaline going already, even though we haven't looked at anything yet. We've come to the end of yet another incredible day on the KZN South Coast, yeah. Um, we had three captures, I mean, who could be upset with that, you know? On a day like today where it's been rather quiet, I mean, a bite is a bite. Um, the one being a hammer, small diamond skate, and then a half size, a half reasonable size blackfin. So really tough for that. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the YouTube page. 
and um, yeah, we'll check you next week. See you guys. Awesome. Cheers.